Hey folks, TNT Neon here. Today there's going to be a tutorial on uh, how to set up uh, multi wee board. This particular board is from White Spy Quads. That's White Spy Quads, and this is the Mega 3.0 Easy 3 board. Uh, and I really like this board. This is pretty much the only board I would fly on my quads because it's so simple to use and it is so easy. Um, and he's right here in Florida. So he takes these boards, rewrite them and make them work great. Um, I've been flying his boards now for close to two and a half, three years. Never had an issue out of it. This particular one I messed up so I got to send it back to him so he can fix it. I um, think this right here is bad and it went bad and that's because I done something plugged up uh, OSD in it the correct way but plugged the battery voltage checker uh, for the OSD in backwards so but that's the only issue I had and that was on me alright I'm going to show you that I have it and everything this is my Nexus Neo FPB, FPV quad this is the one I use strictly for FPV purposes only. And as you see, I have the board sitting in there. Like I said, I really, really like this board. And the GPS also from White Spy Ready to Fly Quads. And we we'll go over here. And of course, y'all know I even had it on my quad that I sold to get this one so you know what I'm saying I really like his work and also you'll see that I have it on this one as well along with the GPS and OSD which I have the same OSD here I don't know if y'all better see that or not but it's sitting right in there hiding right inside there so maybe to get in and zoom it focuses a little bit, but maybe not. So it's it's sitting right in there, right in there where it's so it's hiding right there. All right. Um, so let's get started on it. Um, let's see which one I'm gonna use. I'm gonna use my uh, uh, Sky Hero Y6 because the port is easier to get to than what I have. I can get to that one, but I'd rather get to this one where it's easier to get to. <coughs> All right. <coughs> All right. First off, if you don't want to do, if you don't want to do your own setup, he can, if you go to White Spy Quads, whitespyquad.com, or just, you know, write that down. Give you a moment so you can write it down. All right. He will set it up for you. All you got to do is go to his page. Stroll down and he will set this up for you. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna stroll down. And like right here, it shows you every all the different ways. The board itself, then the GPS. You got the GPS modular. Um your hook bed to do uh hook LED light rings to it. Uh they're working on waypoints for it right now. Um, so they show you everything. Ready to fly quads is him. White spy quads. Um, just show you other setups. That shield around it, this right here, it made to keep uh, wiring and stuff. You know the magnetic forces to, from messing with the compass, and I show you that. Cause the compass used to be here, so they moved it. So it'll be up in the higher area so it won't inter get interfered with any wiring because if it did, it you know, it 
it causes the GPS to act crazy. So that's the compass right here being moved to the GPS unit, which is a great idea. <clears throat> All right. So we're going to close this out. More mega stuff. Uh, close this out. So, like I said, if you want to, if you want him to, uh, if you want him to set it up, he can set it up for you. It just you basically go in and say like, if you want uh, the compass, the GPS with mounted back plate and compass, it would be twenty eight bucks. So you can click on that. Or you want it with the the uh, PCB shield, <clears throat> which is that little area make it look like a house top. You can do it with that. Or you can get the higher end GPS and click on it. And all this is adding to the price of of the board. Um, so, like I said, if you just click on it, and he'll have everything set up for you and ship to your door. And basically, all you got to do is plug and play it. Um, header pins. You won't need header pins if you order if you order uh, the black Easy Three Pro or the blue Easy Three Pro. The header pins is uh, it's pretty much using um, plugs now. Um, so none of this you need. Like right here, if you want to uh, run a Quad X, Quad P, a Tri Hex, or uh, Hex P. <clears throat> Or Octo X, it can run all of them plus more. Like I said, got mine set up for a Y6. Um, right here, scroll down some more. It, uh, <clears throat> if you want to add the, the light ring to it, it's 15 bucks. Spectrum satellites, which I'm using receivers, spectrum receivers, so I'm not using satellites. You know, all this, you know, all this little stuff as a, you know, add a, the micro USB. Uh, I advise if you do get this, so you won't have to keep plugging up computer changer, get the Bluetooth uh, serial cable with serial cable. It's only nine dollars and it works for any Android phone base, any Android based phone. All right, so that's one way. You know, if you don't feel like you want to, you want want to tackle this and do you know do the work yourself. Uh, another way is like you order and you don't say like you forget to tell him you want to do this you want to add all this out here um oh also if they will come with a new software which is 2.3 old software with 2.2 so it'll come with a new software 2.3 <clears throat> um just click on dropbox which it is you know take you to another window and once you click on Dropbox, you'll see right here, it tells you the PIN numbers on the back of it, which right here, you'll see the uh, motor port numbers. I know you see that real good. You got to zoom in on it or focus it, get it focused. But you see right here, it starts with D2. D2 is going to be your first motor, D3 second, you know, so forth and all that. So this is why we're talking about you don't need to order header pins to go with them unless you want to, unless you mess these, pin, these ports up right here, which you can't really mess these ports up. I mean, they only plug in one way. So, but you can order the header pins and stuff. But like I said, it comes with the right wiring and all that stuff. All right, so back to the the, the screen. Um, it show you where to plug in everything. Like you can click on this and it show you everything. Show you all the setups and it show you which way the motor is supposed to rotate. Then this right here is a calibration tool. Uh, show show you how to do all the calibrations. All right, if you running a certain computer, they got different ones. You got the Mac. You got the Mac Zip, um, Dot, and all that good stuff. I'm running uh, PC, so I'm, um, I'm running a separate deal, which you can download any of this. Yeah, you can order. You can download. The one I download, basically, I download uh, the MotuWi GPS Black. I mean, Motu, MotuWi Mega Easy 
three black GPS zip file. That's so when you download it, you go and download the software for GPS and also software for the board itself. Um, right here, you can download this to a set, just a satellite where you won't have to run the separate receiver. But like I said, I run the separate receiver. I like the fact to have that receiver. That's me. This right here is to download the LED ring. So if you get the LED ring, you can download the file to run this LED ring. Um, same here. It's uh, another type of ring, but it's the same difference. All right. So what you do, you just click and download that, and then it'll bring you up to a file and configuration. I'll show you all that. All right. To change writing, <clears throat> on my last video, I showed you y'all had to use the the Arduino setup to change uh, certain things so you can run certain things like my pallet like I had on got on my Y6 here um, the Arduino lets you rewrite codes this is an open source board it helps you re lets you rewrite codes um, it lets you download software so that's another thing you need to get um, also, it'll give you everything. It'll give you drivers and everything that you need to download with for your computer. Like mine is running off a of COM4, so it'll give you all your drivers and everything. So once you download all of that, um, you pretty much can go back, whatever. So, like I said, I'm, this is just a screen back to show you everything. So we're going. I'm gonna show you everything once I down. Once I show you my downloads and everything, and also you can always go back to his website and it'll let you know what wires go where: purple throttle, gray aileron, brown elevator, orange rudder, so forth, so forth, so forth. Um, it'll tell you where the motor connections are at: yellow front left, green back right. It it'll, it'll let you know all of that. Um, <clears throat> also here, like I said, you can pull up, there's the picture diagram and like I'm running my quad. So it'll tell you D2, D3 rotates the same way. D5, D6 rotates the same way. On my Y6, it got you D8, D6, D8, D7, D2. Pretty much they running in a counterclockwise rotation where D2 on the bottom is running opposite of that. Alright, D6, D5. Alright, D6, D5 is on top. D6, D5 is on top. D7, D8 is on bottom. D3 is on top and D2 is on bottom. I think that's how it go. <clears throat> um, but it, it, you can... I can show you better on the configuration board once I get there, but this is pretty much where all of this is at. Uh, it's real simple. Like I said, if you don't want to go through all that, you, he can do all this. All his boards come from the shop with the new firmware on it, um, and he will flash uh, what you want done to it as long as you go down and stroll here to get all of this you know all of this setup right here all right so that's pretty much how you can get that all right I'm gonna start another video because it's gonna be a while to upload this one and then the next video I'm gonna show you how to go through everything all right so I always say guys good all the time TNT out